Hi boys and girls. Welcome back to Hands On Hour. I'm Miss Jerob. You might notice I have some toys today. Today, even the adults are going to be playing with toys. We're going to talk about shadows and how everything makes a shadow because of the sun, because of a light behind it. So if you would like to see how to do this cool activity, keep watching. All you need for today's activity is some paper, a pencil, some crayons for making your picture look cool after it's traced, and your favorite toys. It helps if they can stand up so that you have a good shadow to trace. What you're going to want to do first is take your piece of paper and find where the sun is making the best shadow. You can see if I put my dinosaur like this, the sun is shining directly at it, so it's casting a shadow forward. You can't really tell what that shadow is if the dinosaur is facing this way. But if I simply turn it, you can see, well, that's a Triceratops right there. So once you have the angle that you wanna trace, I'm gonna hold mine up a little bit. You're just gonna take your pencil and start tracing the outline. It's really easy to do. Pretty much anybody could do this. Oh, this is gonna look so cool. And now you can see I have my Triceratop all traced. Now you can do this with just about any toy you could think of or try different objects. See if maybe you trace a pencil. What does that look like? If you trace a uh, bottle of water, what would that look like? Try different objects around your house. I wonder what a spatula would look like. So now that I have one of my dinosaurs trace. I'm gonna trace a couple more and then I'm gonna color them in. All right, I made a few more. I traced Thomas, the tank engine. I traced a T-Rex and I traced this cute little goat. <laughs> so I'm gonna color them in and show you my finished product. So here they are, some of my finished creations. I made them each say something kind of funny because I was just feeling goofy. It's just something to keep you creative and keep you having fun, maybe get you a nice little break from school. I hope you decide to try this out too. And I do hope you join us next time for a hands-on hour. I'm gonna go color my Triceratops now, but I hope you guys have a great week. See you later, bye.